In this video, we demonstrate rendering quality achieved using the proposed adaptive multi-ray shading system. We begin with a stress test for adaptive shading of shadows. Notice the sharp shadow edges in this animated scene. Shading once per 2x2 pixels and upsampling to full resolution yields artifacts due to undersampling near shadow edges. A simple adaptive technique that checks shadow value differences between neighboring coarse shading samples may fail to detect tiny shadow edges that fall between sample points, resulting in flickering artifacts. The artifacts are even more pronounced when shadows are sampled only once per 4x4 pixel block. Using our edge receiver predicate, we are able to robustly detect high-frequency shadow detail and produce images that are free of undersampling artifacts, while also significantly reduce the total amount of shading work. This heat map shows the amount of shading work executed per pixel. Pixels in blue regions are shaded only once every 4x4 pixel block. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison with a reference image that is produced by shading once per pixel. We use the auger scene to test the adaptive shading of specular effects. Evaluating specular effect in coarse shader without adaptivity produces aliasing artifacts near highlights. Refining areas of high surface curvature eliminates the artifacts, but results in unnecessary shading work in regions where high frequency highlights are not present. Using specular peak detection, the adaptive shader will only refine shading near highlights which reduces the number of refinements that occur. Notice that most regions in heat map are now blue. Here is side-by-side -side comparison with reference rendering. Here we compare the output of rendering the Cybernix scene using per pixel shading and multi-rate adaptive shading. Small but largely unnoticeable differences do occur as silhouettes. We make these differences visible by multiplying the difference image by a factor of 10. Here is side-by-side -side comparison with reference rendering. Again, we show shadow aliasing artifacts that result when lighting is evaluated coarsely but without adaptivity. Observe that simple shadow difference predicate misses tiny shadow details, causing flicker. As expected, the aliasing is worse under once per 4x4 pixel shading. Here is the result of adaptive multi-ray shading when using our advanced specular and shadow predicates. The remainder of this video provides a series of image quality comparisons between the output of multi-ray adaptive shading and reference images generated using once per pixel shading. Visual differences between the reference and the multi-rate adaptive results are virtually non-existent.